Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>Good morning everybody and welcome to the Duck Adventure for February the 23rd and my back is about it feels about 90% better oh well I, I woke up and I didn't uh, have the excruciating pain when I sat up in bed so I was like right on so I'm just gonna I'm still taking it easy though but today I got a bad job I gotta I gotta deal with all the snow we got we got a ton of snow and today is gonna be a major bath day for the ducks um, it's going to uh, plus one is what they're calling for today. Now, it's already minus six. So we're gonna be playing with some hose action here today. And the ducks need it bad. All right, let them wait at the door. Oh, that was frozen. I don't wanna, <laughs> almost did a little bit of wrench action there. Oh, listen to them. came out. I think there's, there's still some Muscovies inside. I'm gonna have my breakfast and then I gotta deal with the snow plowing and then once I get the snow plowing done I gotta uh, I'm gonna set the garden hose up here in the pen which should be nice and warm by then and the ducks can uh, have some serious fun playing uh, in the, uh, the, uh, the water, get all cleaned up because they're really, really dirty, and there's no sign of my dog. <laughs> he comes out of the house now and he goes the opposite direction. <laughs> Poor guy, he's uh, he's really screwed up. This getting shocked this week really set him his little brain for a, a loop. <laughs> Poor Dougie. Let's see if I can get uh, if he's anywhere near Doug. Doug! Oh, there he comes. He was close. Dougie! <laughs> oh, you. Hey? Eh? I know, eh? That electric fence thing just screws you right up. Well, maybe today we go with the plow and he gets his mind off and things gets back. Maybe a couple of days get back to normal. Because he got the shock, you know, while I was in uh, doing my personal lockdown with my back there, so he's, uh, he needs to spend some time in the yard to get over this. He, he's gotten over every, uh, he's gotten over every other, uh, you can tell I haven't had my coffee. He's gotten over every other electrical shock that he's gotten uh, from the fence. So this shouldn't be, be any different. Weatherman was completely wrong. Uh, they said it was only supposed to get to zero or plus one today. It's already plus six. Oh, the kind of wrong you like. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. I did take a painkiller this morning because uh, I, I sat down and uh, did some editing. I, I, I got a little carried away, sat there for like 20 minutes. I got up and I was like, oh, I gotta loosen up so I can get on the tractor. But I'm feeling much better, I am. I'm honestly, I'm feeling a lot better. The pain I have is like 10% of what I was going through. So it's not that bad. I'll be back to normal really soon, guys. But I'm going to, I gotta get this plowed. Uh, this area here, I have to plow this right now. 
um, so that I can get the garden hose set up so the ducks can have a shower uh, because it's absolutely, it's shower weather. Uh, I, I got a hunch I'll set the, um, the, the hose up and they'll be playing. If not, I'll be squirting them, but I got to get it going. It's going to take me a couple hours. The snow's starting to get heavy uh, to plow here. Warmer weather. I should have, you know, I should have. I couldn't. Yesterday would have been the perfect day to uh, plow it. The snow was so fluffy and light, the tractor would have blown right through it. But now everything's getting heavy, which means a little more work. But I got to get this happening here. I'm actually looking forward to uh, getting the ducks all cleaned up. And I'm going to throw in a uh, another bale of straw in the barn uh, just to help you know make up for the the moisture they're going to bring in on their feathers tonight and of course guess what tonight another massive uh, deep freeze coming so uh, this uh, brief period of warm weather we got to take advantage of it for the ducks i'm not having any luck today i feel pretty good um, only a little bit of pain, so uh, it's not too bad. And I can tell it's the, the pain killer. I only took one today, so uh, I would feel the pain. But you wouldn't believe my luck. My tractor, uh, the front steering just went on it. Uh, the little metal fatigued on a, a, one of the um, uh, the bearings, and uh, I got to take it apart now. So that's a job I didn't count on. But luckily, my neighbor down the road is a welder, and we'll get fixed up locally. But now I'm going to set up the hose. The ducks are patiently waiting for me to come and start spraying them. So we'll get some spraying action happening and have a little bit of fun because uh, I got uh, I got the most important part done uh, where I walk all the time here anyway, so it doesn't have to get done today. It's not the end of the world. More important is uh, getting the ducks washed up and let's have some fun. I just walked over here and as soon as I started touching the uh, garden hose, the ducks started talking to me. They're getting all worked up. The closer I'm walking with the hose, the louder they're getting. It's like they know what I'm up to. <laughs> Too funny. They've gone from totally silent. Now they're all standing up looking at me right on What a shame my tractor broke it uh, and of course it had to die No, Dougie, you're not coming in It had to die Down over there one wheel points this way one wheel point that way um, I ended up using a piece of plastic under one wheel uh, and it drove with one steering and a ski <laughs> backwards to get it to the garage. Oh, look at them. All right, I'm gonna get the buddy the uh, uh, tub filled first, and then we'll do a little bit of playing with the ducks. So they're following me over. Look at this. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna start playing with you soon. This is too cute. They're all coming over. All right, I gotta get this happen so we can have some fun with them. They want me to start playing with them. All right, I'm gonna get the uh, chores done while the tub's filling, and then uh, we'll uh, do a little bit of playing with them. Since my tractor's broke, and then I gotta go fix my tractor. So it's not all fun and games, but definitely gonna have some fun here with spraying some ducks. I got, I gotta be really careful. I got my knees bent. Shoving this a little bit around the electric fence, and of course Doug's helping me here. Oh, it's it's a you know the old saying, put your back into it. This is when you wish you could use your back. Okay, Doug. <laughs> okay, no, let go, let go. Okay, Doug, Doug, no. <laughs> okay, let me get this done. You're a crazy dog, but look at the ducks. They're all over there at the water. They want me to start uh, playing with them They're they're in there playing away I can't wait to start spraying them and getting them all clean Okay, all right Doug, okay we're good. 
What are we gonna do with it if I give it to you? Nothing. It's no fun unless I'm hanging on to it. Oh, you. Oh, okay, okay, stop it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, stop it. There. <laughs> okay, that was short lived. Okay, Doug, no! We are crazy. Now, considering this, guys, he's been terrified of this area, the perimeter of the fence, because he got shocked there, what, three days ago. And now, uh, look at these, he's right beside the fence playing. So, uh, I've got to let him do this, let him play, because he was terrified to come part of this, come into this part of the yard. And right now, he's got his mind off of it. So, that's a big improvement over the last three days of poor Doug going through shock therapy. Look at this little ruin. She's uh, snow uh, uh, four wheeling her. All right, I'm coming. They well, they're snow bathing right now. <laughs> right now, it's uh, almost plus four. Lots of crows. The so dog's doing lots of barking. They're so dirty, again. Oh, look at this. They want to get out. It's that warm, guys. They want to go free ranging. Unfortunately, uh, that isn't going to happen. <laughs> no, they're coming back. Yeah, I just thought I saw something fly over that wasn't a crow. Oh, a goose. Look at them coming right up here. Well, we got a pretty good group over there in the tub. <laughs> and you know, while I was plowing, they were uh, just taking it easy. They weren't really that interested in water. You're like play kids, you know, you gotta play with them. Disco duck likes to get sprayed. Look at these little dirty girls. So you see, you know, when they walk along and you see the dirty water coming off of them and it makes the snow discolor, it's like, you know they're dirty.
<laughs> Look at this. Some of them are so dirty, the dirt's just ground into them. Here's a really dirty one. Coming right up to get blasted. She's really filthy. And the Dalmatian ducks, they're just like the ruins, you know, they love the water. You know, Muscovy's dirty when they come over for a shower. Oh, is she ever filthy? Mo, I think, is having a ton of sex that we don't know about. Because the, uh, the Muscovy females are really dirty. Well, you're already clean. Let's find a dirty duck. Look at that, four Muscovies in the tub. Look at this right there. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. I'm actually in a lot of pain right now. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, crows. Doug's getting upset. <laughs> Poor dog. He's having a rough day today. Oh, there's a dirty duck. Look at the color of the snow. <laughs> Leave a dirty trail of, of uh, in the snow. Look at the nuts coming over. Oh, she doesn't want to get sick. She does and she doesn't. She's a confused female. Oh, the Scobies are really cleaning themselves up.
They're such pretty ducks. Moe's got to be having sex with them because they're really dirty. I can't see Moe Sharon. He's not the Sharon type. All right, we'll just fill that up a touch here. Well, I get, uh, I'm gonna get my back a bit of a stretch here, guys. <laughs> Look at this. They're going out to me. I'm stretching here. <laughs> oh, my back. I'm standing straight too long. You know, they're coming over for more squirting. Oh, these little Muscovies. Oh, my back. I shouldn't have. I was standing in one position too long, guys, and I'm paying for it now. And I'm not even done playing. I got now I'm into force showers here because there's some of these females that just refuse to uh, clean themselves up. Okay, this one's got a really dirty face again. It's dissolving off pretty quick though. Oh, disco ducks coming over to get sprayed. She's letting me spray her eyes.
come back over and get sprayed in the face, same duck. It's like they know it's taking the uh, the grunge off their face. It's really bizarre how they know that. They're not even dirty duck. Oh, there's a dirty duck. Now you ever a dirty duck. This one, the uh, dirt is ground right into her feathers. She's getting a lot of sex. Well, her face is cleaning up though. Oh, there's another dirty one. They don't like when the hose gets kinked like that. You know what, have you, not, have you guys not noticed, well I've noticed, I got, you obviously have noticed too, the, the geese no longer uh, dominate the tub. It's like the ducks have taken over the tub by sheer numbers. Because uh, honestly, when was the last time you saw the ducks uh, or the geese, you know, taking over the tub? It's in the weeks. There's a lot of dirty ducks, so holy moly. <laughs> Alright, the ducks are pulling on the hose. <laughs> oh, there's a dirty duck. Oh, there's a goose. Come on, Goose. You liked it last time I was spraying you. Goose is not liking it. Oh, look at this. The geese are snow baths. They're doing snow baths over there. She's throwing snow on her back. That's pretty cool actually. It's really weird how today they're not interested in getting sprayed where the last time uh, I was playing uh, they were like right in thick as thieves with the ducks. 
Who are interested in the deep snow? It's bizarre. <laughs> Oh, look at this. We got ducks here. We want to get sprayed. We're just uh, having, uh, well I'm having too much fun here, washing all the duckies up. There's a dirty duck. I mean, the dirty ones don't want to be sprayed. <laughs> it's, oh. You know, the thing is, standing in here with the ducks, it's so, because they, it's so cute because they walk around me like I'm nothing. Like, like I belong here. You know, it's not like when, the, you know, with a big flock here and they all, everybody, you know, got panicked all the time. Seems that, you know, with a smaller flock, there's a lot more interaction and they really know who you are. Okay, I'm looking for a dirty duck. Look at the goo down there digging in the snow. I've been spraying this little duck for a good three, four minutes, and it keeps turning its head uh, towards the uh, the dirty side. It's like uh, he's already washed off one side completely using the spray on his other side. Now he's letting me clean this other side. It's like uh, they know their face is dirty. It 
It's the craziest thing. I, I never written even last year I never noticed this. Look at that female. <laughs> Yanking on her. Oh. Huh? Clean it up. You had enough? Ooh, you took a little water down the wrong hole? <laughs> They're really enjoying the water here. And Dean, I cleaned the barn yesterday and uh, I'm, gonna put a, I'm putting an extra bale of straw in today. It'll be nice and clean for the uh, oh oh for the sub zero temperature we got coming tonight again. Actually, the wind's picking up and the temperature's dropping. So just like the weatherman said, was going to happen. Just enough time for everybody to have a bath, clean up. Just look at this little duck. Power washing its face. Hmm. You know, I'm trying to look for more dirty ducks. I think my job's done. Everybody underneath there is clean. The geese taking snow baths. <laughs> I don't get that. Alright, what's going on? Any dirty ducks left? I think that's everybody. Oh, there's one dirty one over there that snuck through. Purple, she took a bath by herself. No, that duck's, yeah, she's just wet. Well, I guess everybody got to clean them. <laughs> oh, they'll be so nice and white in the barn tonight. All right, well, I'm going to get the uh, straw out and uh, cover the, uh, fl the floor of the barn with a fresh bale of straw and take the tractor apart. You know, as soon as I went into the barn, I saw spraying them with the hose. The ducks lost all interest in the water. They're, uh, now they're all drying themselves off because I'm not out here spraying them. Nobody's uh, doing well. There's one duck right now. Sorry, there's one single duck. The rest of the ducks now that I'm not out here have lost interest in the water. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to go and work on my uh, job I didn't count on, fix my tractor. Moe's the only one that's uh, got a lot of rain. It's minus two, so the temperature's dropped just a touch. Look at this. Moe's in the heat lamp. <laughs> oh, he's a smart duck. Drying himself off, the flick of the feathers. I don't know when the rest are going to figure out. There's no other ducks in here. It's just Mo. The rest of them out here are uh, open, cleaning themselves, making themselves all pretty. Oh, look at this, I got some ducks. I just changed the water in the tub. I got a fill here and there. Uh, obviously, want a little more water. <laughs> so funny. Look at them. Get in there, duck. Everybody's clean again. What a what a nasty lockdown last week was. 
I was looking at the calendar and I was I thinking, like, oh, there were like seven days the barn never got cleaned because I threw that straw on top. So that's why it was so disgusting in there. And yesterday it was too cold for them to have a shower. So it's pretty hard to steer when your tires go uh, both of them pointing out or both of them pointing in. But they don't point in the same direction. So I've got to take it apart. That what happened here is the, uh, the little tiny piece snapped. It's not a big deal. It can be welded. So I'm going to take it apart and uh, drop it off to my welder neighbor. I got him to put it back together for me. Well, hopefully it can be welded. I'll know here shortly. The old made in North America. Um, it turned out the piece that broke uh, actually had some metal fatigue and it was actually rusted uh, inside the brake so it had been broken for a while it's just let go today but just to give you a, an idea look at this the, this is just one side of the steering this is just a little lawn tractor really in the big picture you know they, it's all solid steel parts it's uh, made to be repaired well it's not made to be welded but it's going to get welded and it's going to uh, serve the purpose and it goes right there just like that so it's just gonna be welded back together. So my neighbor's got a big welder. I'm gonna whip down there and uh, let him do the magic. I've got a acetylene torch, but just not, I'm not uh, coming to heavy metal like this. It just won't weld as good as a MIG. So I'm uh, headed to my neighbor's place. I'll probably end up dropping it off since it's Sunday, and he is uh, he works at home, but <laughs> he's one of these guys that does not work weekends. So um, he'll uh, do this for me tomorrow morning. It's warmed up enough today that. Uh, we actually have, oh, Dougie's back though, but we actually have mud. There's mud in the driveway. Okay, oh, that's such a good sign. Now, a bunch of ducks are in the barn. They're enjoying uh, the drying off inside. I've got the heat on inside to dry the barn out so it doesn't get all wet like it did last time. I'm gonna whip over to my neighbor's place, drop off that part, and uh, I'm gonna call it a day because my back tells me I should uh, take it easy. But, the ducks are definitely looking nice and clean. They'll dry up nice. Look at this little silly duck over there. Just get in there, you silly duck. Oh, run in? Yeah. Washing their face. All right, I'm gonna start the trucking. I'm gonna call it a day because I don't think I'm. If I do much more, I, I I can't film anymore because if I get any more footage, I'll never get it edited. Uh, I just got back from uh, taking the part to my neighbor to get welded, but and I put the hose away here. But I gotta show you this little duck. She is absolutely soaked. She's actually I, she's left the tub once and gone back again. But this duck, we are talking waterlogged. She is like completely, there isn't a, there is, she's completely soaked to the bone. There isn't a dry feather on this duck's body. She got out once already when I first got home and I couldn't believe how soaked she was. You could see her skin, she was so wet. I wound up the hose, went in the house and I looked out and she went back into the water. She seriously cleaned herself. This is warmer weather. She's soaked. She's gonna take a good couple hours to dry out. Some of the ducks are out here. Most of them are in the barn, enjoying life. I've got the heat on there to dry the uh, barn out. I'll turn it off later. But they're uh, underneath here. They're um, oh, bed. Oh, it hurts the bend. I try not to bend too much, guys. Yeah, they're wet too. They've got the, the wings flapping. Silly ducks. Everybody's clean, though. And this little girl's really, really clean. <laughs> oh, she's still cleaning herself. She's so cute. 
She's so wet. Actually, if she didn't have, uh, you know, some cover to go to to get out of the wind, uh, this duck would actually probably freeze to death tonight. Like, her feathers are clumped. They're so uh, soaked. Look at her. That's a soaked duck. All right, now well, I gotta go and do uh, my supper. Get it in the oven. I got it spiced up this morning, and I'm gonna uh, have a, a nice duck, roasted duck. I haven't had roasted duck in, my God, it's been like three days. I've, uh, I've been eating lamb, and uh, I had uh, actually some um, uh, chicken last night, some free-range chicken from my uh, my doctor. It was tasty. I'm uh, going through duck withdrawal. Today, today will be the fourth night if I don't eat it. <laughs> I can't have that. <laughs>